Hey, happy Monday. This is really late. It's like 1030 at night. This has been a crazy day at the beginning of what is going to be for me a very crazy week. Um, I had to work this morning. I had a bunch of phone calls to make for work and for personal stuff. Um, and then I had to take my son to the orthodontist and we ended up being there forever. A little wing going on right here. <laughs> and then I had to go to open house. Oh my God. I had to go to my first open house. I have another one tomorrow for school. If you're not familiar with it, um, in public schools, that's where you go in and you get like your kid's schedule and you go around to the classes, you meet the teachers, blah, blah, blah. Get paperwork to fill out, all that good stuff. Although they're all doing it differently this year, finally. This is so much better. So you go into each classroom and they have the little QR code that you scan and you fill in all the information so you don't have to go into every damn class and fill out the paperwork where you put the same shit on every form. Like, why can't y'all just make copies of this freaking form or put them all in a central location? Why do I have to go to every classroom and fill the same damn form out over and over and over? But now it's super easy. They have the little QR code. You scan it. You put in the contact information, blah, blah, blah. Submit. Boom. You're done. There are no paper forms. Thank you, Jesus. I am so happy about that. Finally. 2022. They finally got their shit together. Thank God. So I did that, but um, my, son, my older son wasn't able to go with me because he had to work this evening. He couldn't get off work. So I ended up having to go up there by myself and I couldn't find the classrooms. And then I found out for two of his classes, the classroom listed on his schedule was the wrong classroom. So I was in the wrong place. Oh, no, it's not this one. You're actually supposed to be in this room. Like, well, why does it say this? Oh, I don't know, but that's wrong. So I ended up marking all over his schedule. <laughs> like, I just, I marked. And it was funny because the first one that was wrong, they said, oh, no, you actually need to go to this room. So I marked it out and put the other room number on there. And I get to that room. It's like, oh, no, this isn't the right room either. You need to be over here. So I had to mark it out twice. <laughs> So I'm sorry I marked all over your schedule, but at least it has the correct room number next to it. That's where you're actually supposed to go, not what it said originally. So I went around and collected paperwork and um, like, not really paperwork, but just a couple of the classes had a few little, little leaflets of information for me to take home. And here's the drastic difference between elementary school and high school at least. You know how many school supplies I'm aware of right now that he needs for 12th grade? He needs a pencil, uh, a binder, like a one-inch binder with paper in it, and a one-subject spiral notebook. That's it. For all of his classes, that's it. They didn't say that he needed anything else. I have all that. I have a school supply box up in the attic where if I have extra stuff, like if I buy stuff and they end up not needing it for some reason, or if I find stuff at a good deal, I'll buy it and stick it. It's like a big paper box up in my attic. And I, I went up there and I dug through it and I found everything that he, they said he needed. Like, I got all that right here. So I'm not going to have to buy anything for him at this point unless something comes up later. You know, if they mention something else he needs, that was it. Now, my, my younger son, we have his open house tomorrow, and we'll see what he needs. But at least he'll be able to go with me, and he will know where these classes are. And I won't be wandering around lost among lots of other people. <laughs> it's like, oh my God, there were so many people there. It was crazy. And I've been dealing with a bit of a headache, like a sick headache all day. I've been stressed all day. I'm really tired. I still need to call my dad. I have to go up to my dad's one day this week and take care of something. I'm trying to figure out what day I'm going to go because right now I don't know. But I'm, I need to do it this week, one day this week. Oh my God, I have some other stuff coming up. Jeez. I'm tired, so this is going to be really short. But I got an idea for a video, and I don't even know... It would be kind of a role play, I guess, but I'm not exactly sure what it would look like. Are any of y'all on the Nextdoor app? Do you do anything with the Nextdoor app? I hate that app. I Well, it's not the app. It's the people on there. It is a freaking dumpster fire, at least for me. The people on that app are so mean. They are so damn mean. You can't say anything. 
somebody posted something on there the other day about uh, pressure people who do pressure washing. You know, and I responded and I mentioned the name of the person that did mine. I said, he actually does a really good job. And I highly recommended him. I put his, you know, his information in there. And then somebody asked me something about, well, how much did he charge? And I, you know, I told him, well, here's what he did. And here's, you know, here's how much it was. Of course, every job is going to be different depending on what you have him do. It's not going to be the same. And this person, for some reason, just lit into me. I don't even know. Like, why are you mad at me? She started calling me all kinds of names and stuff. I'm like, what is wrong with you? I don't think I have ever had an interaction on the Nextdoor app that did not devolve into just screeching. I don't, what is wrong with these people? And I got to thinking about it. I thought, you know, I I used to like to read the Nextdoor app because it's actually entertaining to see these people just come completely unglued over the dumbest things. And I, so I have a lot of, I have a lot of material to work with, like real life shit that I've read on the next door app that people will say, and they get in these fights with, with each other over all, they'll fight each other. They will go back and forth and fight each other in the comment section over the dumbest things. And I, I have come to realize that my neighborhood is just populated with morons. These people will argue about literally anything. I'm telling you right now. I could go on there tonight, tonight and post a picture of this freaking teasing brush with no comment, and I guarantee you people would fight over it. They would argue over this brush. No shit. If you've never done anything with the Nextdoor app, I would recommend it. Don't. Just don't. You think Twitter is bad? Ne the Nextdoor app makes Twitter look like kitty play school. God, you think people are, are nasty on there? Go to the next door app. These people are crazy as hell. Maybe it's just my neighborhood. I don't know. But I've noticed some definite patterns to the things that people get mad about and the things that people talk about that are like controversial. And I'm going, how is this? How are y'all arguing? How are you even arguing about this? What is going on in your life that you come on here and spend all this time typing out all of these? points to defend your 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 position which your position is stupid of course the other person's position is stupid too i don't even know why y'all are arguing about this so i almost thought it would be fun to do a role play where i'm some i'm one of these people on the next door app because these people are just ridiculous they are freaking ridiculous i cannot believe i have to live around these people and every now and then i'll go down the street and I'm like where where are these people where are these freaking morons? How do, they, how do they function in the world? Is their life really so boring and empty that this is how, this is what they do for fun? They get on here and, and call people names and, you know, bitch them out because they have an opinion about a pressure washing company? The hell? I don't know. I don't know. But I can't call it the next door app. So I'm trying to come up, because I don't want to get in trouble. Because I know I did a video one time where I was I was sell I was doing Costco samples, you know, like doing the samples in Costco, and my video got dinged and demonetized because I mentioned the name Costco. So I'm gonna have to call it something other than the ne the next door app. I was thinking about calling it like Hex Door or Nix Door, but it can't be Next Door. It's gonna have to be something else. So that's something I've been thinking about. I don't know when I would do it. I didn't even get a video done today. I didn't. It's late. I was going to come up here and do it, but I, and then I remember I hadn't even talked to y'all today. I'm like, I, I can't, I'm freaking tired and I got to get up in the morning and, and, you know, do it all over again. I got to work again in the morning because I, I didn't get everything done. I'm going to have to work. I'm going to have to get some stuff done in the morning. I have to call the patent office again. There's an issue that's come up and I have to talk to a specific person and I called and left them a message and they never called me back and I really need to talk to this one person about a problem that we have and I have to talk to a specific person about it so anyway I gotta do that um, my son has another orthodontist appointment later this week he's got his braces off and they did the 3d thingy for his retainer and he has to go back to get it later this week so I'm gonna have to take him back to the orthodontist again I got my blood work back. I don't know if I told you I got my blood work back. Um, 
the TSH was slightly elevated. She raised, she boosted my dose a little bit. So I actually started taking the new dose uh, Sunday, Sunday. So today was the second day. She had already called in the new prescription. She called it in Sunday, so I went and picked it up. I think it was Sunday. I don't remember. It might have been Saturday. Um, so we'll see if that makes me feel any better, but I'm tired. I'm tired. It's just, it's, you ever have a week, you know, I know everybody has weeks like this where it's like everything happens at once and you have to handle everything at once and it's like shit just keeps coming. So I, I saw, I, I got a notification that someone responded to my next door app thing about the pressure washer and I clicked on it and I'm reading this, this woman just went on a tirade. It's just fussing me out. Something about privilege and calling me a bitch, but with an asterisk so she could put it in there because I don't think you can use cuss words and call me a bitch for having an opinion about a pressure washing company. And I'm like, what the hell is, what the hell is wrong with you? I didn't say anything inflammatory. I didn't say anything mean. I just answered a question about how much it costs to get it done. I don't know why you are coming completely unglued over this, but that's what people do on there. They get mad over nothing. I don't even know. And it makes sense if you drive around here because I'm going to the scariest drivers on the road around here are middle-aged soccer moms and they are the worst ones on the next door app. They are completely insane. They are this far away from just losing their minds and they get out on the road in their Range Rovers and in their little Priuses or whatever they drive and they will they will crawl up your ass. They will crawl up your ass, flash their lights, flip you off and I'm going, "Lady, I know damn well you're just headed to the target. Calm your little ass down. It's going to be all right. Or she's headed to Zumba or something. Like, calm your ass down. I'm going to hit you with a hairbrush. I could show them a picture of this hairbrush and they would fight over it. They'd argue about it. There'd be something, there'd be something controversial or problematic about this hairbrush. I don't know what it would be, but it would be something. That's why I just ignore it anymore. I don't even go on there anymore because they... These people are just stressing me out and I don't need any more stress. I'm this close to just deleting the damn app because I've gotten nothing useful out of it. I don't even know why I have it. People just talk about the same shit every day. And I can't say anything on there without somebody just jumping all over me for it. And I'm not here. I'm not there to argue. I, I was just trying to help somebody. Somebody was looking for somebody to do some pressure washing at their house. I was just trying to help. You don't need to jump all in my case about it. But it wasn't the original poster. It was somebody else that came in there and just started screaming at me on there. I don't know. Maybe she has a pressure washing business and doesn't want me promoting somebody else. I don't know. But that is not the way to go about it. You know, if you do good work, it's going to speak for itself. You don't have to tear other people down. Anyway. I had already kind of thought about doing doing a video about the next door app, but that, that kind of sealed the deal. Like we totally need to make a video about these people. And I think I could do it sort of in the in the vein of the shady, like the shady car wash, the, the shady scrapyard. I'm thinking it could sound something kind of like that. I don't know how relaxing it would be, but I think it would be a lot of fun to do. And sometimes I like to do videos just because they're fun, not because I think they're necessarily relaxing. I just feel like doing it. And I kind of feel like doing it. So I don't know when I would get it done, but I'm definitely thinking about doing that. So I didn't get a video done today, but maybe I can get... I have something coming up before long, and I actually need an extra video or two for some days that I may not be able to get one done. Because I, I got some busy days coming up, and I may not be able to do one. So I like to keep a, a one or two extra videos put away just in case I do have a day where I can't do it because I do try to put out a new video every day. People ask me sometimes, you know, I want to, I want to make YouTube videos. What do I need to do? Well, first and foremost, you need to understand that people on the internet are, are awful. Most of them are great, but the ones who aren't great are really, really, really terrible. And there's no limit to the things they will say to you. There's no limit to the things they will criticize or pick on or bring up. And it will sometimes hurt your feelings. It will. I don't care. I don't care if you have a heart made of stone. Every now and then it will get to you. It's unavoidable because you're going to get it every day. 
I've been called every name in the book. I have been criticized up one side down the other for everything you can think of and some things you'd never think of. And, and sometimes it will hurt your feelings. It will get to you. I don't care because you're human. You got feelings. It'll hurt your feelings. Most of the time it won't. Sometimes it will. Um, you need to put out new content. You need to give people interesting stuff to watch. You know, don't be afraid to try new stuff. Don't be afraid to try a new thing, even a hey, even if it's even if it's not great. I love these clips right here. If you have fine hair, these are I think they're made by Revlon. I got them on Amazon. They are they they do not slide out of your hair. They have these little grips. Best best in the world. I love them. Yeah, you need to put out new content. I'd say at least three videos a week. You need a consistent upload schedule and put out stuff that people like sell them what they want give them what they want to see but know that I think the hardest part honestly is the mean people the mean people the nitpicky people the petty people you know that they're the worst man it's like being nibbled to death by a duck you know, one of one or two won't get to you, but after a while, and you know, I block them all. I block them instantly. I don't give them a second chance. I quit. I quit giving people second chances a long time ago, but they just keep coming, and it's like being nibbled to death by a duck, and it'll drive you crazy. And some days you might just need to take a break from it and not read comments. I've kind of hit that point of where I um. I don't read all the comments anymore. I will give it a few days and just read the top 10 comments or whatever because I just, I don't know. I can't deal with it right now. People want to be ugly. They can be ugly. I don't, I don't care. And if I see any ugly comments in the filtered comments, I just block, 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 block. If it's already in the filtered folder, it's literally just one mouse click. The comment goes away. Nobody ever has to see it, and I never have to hear from that person again. Click, click, click. I do that I do a lot of that so you never have to see it and I never have to see it again and I never have to hear from that person again and lately I've had to block several people that have been subscribers for a long time I don't know what is going on with people I don't know if people are just stressed out and they come onto my channel and take it out on me I don't know but I've had people come on there lately like zom like zombies man like they turn on you and all of a sudden they're being just really vicious to you and saying really super mean things and I'm sorry, you gotta go. If you walked into my house and talked to me like that, I would show you the door and I would not let you come back. And my channel is like my house and I don't tolerate it. Yeah, don't tolerate that shit. If you have a channel, don't don't engage them, don't talk to them, block them and remove the comment. Don't don't give them don't give them any oxygen at all, just get rid of them. Oh god. Okay, sorry. I also went to an exercise class first thing this morning. I've had two showers today. No, that's not true. I had one shower early this morning after that class. I probably need another one. I think I got a little sweaty out there, but I think I might just wait till in the morning. I don't feel like doing it. I'm very tired. I'm very tired and I'm gonna go to bed now. I'm gonna wash my face and brush my teeth and go to bed. Get up in the morning and do it all over again. But thank you so much for being here. If you have kids that are going back to school, you it's you know you always have that week like right before school where it's just, ugh, and a lot of y'all have probably already been through it. They're starting back kind of late here this year. They're starting back on the 29th, which is late even for us. I don't know why they're starting back so late. But the week before school starts is always insane. But at least for school supplies, well, for one kid, I don't need anything. I need nothing. Don't know about my other son. I'll find out about that tomorrow. So whatever he needs, I'll make sure to get it before beforehand. He's pretty well, they're both pretty well set. So all I know of is if, if his teachers have anything they need and if it's something I don't have, I'll get it. But other than that, I'm pretty set. So that's good. So thank you so much for being here. I feel like there was something else I wanted to tell you. I feel that way a lot. I'll probably remember at 3 a.m. Oh yeah. But I, don't, I don't know right now what it would be. But thank you so much for being here. If you have any suggestions for a name that I could use other than next door 
app, but it kind of sounds like next door. I kind of like next door, N-I-X-D-O-O-R. That's different enough, the next door app or the hex door app. Which do you like better, next door or hex door? Or do you have a better idea? I'm open to suggestions. This is just a seed of an idea that I came up with and I've been playing around with and tumbling around in my head. So any suggestions are welcome. And have you been on the next door app and had a similar experience? Is it toxic where you are too? Or is it just my neighborhood? Cause I'm telling you people around here are fucking crazy. No wonder they drive the way they do. I'm surrounded by morons. I'm surrounded by completely unhinged people. It's just, wow. I cannot imagine getting that angry over, over stuff that's like, there's, I don't even, I don't even know how you found something to be angry about. How'd you do that? How do you walk around with that much rage just bottled up inside of you? <laughs> Yikes. I don't know. But anyway. Thank you for being here um, tomorrow. Maybe I will take you out and about somewhere. I'm not really sure yet what tomorrow is going to look like, but maybe. Oh, I know what I wanted to tell you. I had to stop by Dollar Tree this evening. I went in there to look for, they have these um, melatonin, what's a, it's a little chewable tablet that has melatonin and chamomile and some other stuff in it. And I really like them at night. I went in there to see if they had any, and they already have a whole bunch of Halloween stuff out. The whole section that they had set up for back to school, all that is gone. It's all already gone, and it's all been replaced with uh, Halloween. So I thought one day we may have to go in there and look at some Halloween stuff. They've already got it out. I'm like, damn, I don't know where all the back to school stuff went. It's just gone. I don't know where the hell it went. It's gone. That fast. They put it out, and then boom, it was gone. It's crazy. So I want to show you some Halloween stuff. I want to organize some soap again, too. Oh, the OTC section in there was scary. There was almost nothing on it. And at first I thought, well, maybe they're getting ready to redo the shelves or something. No, they were just empty. All that was on it was a little bit of uh, ibuprofen. The, the shelves were like freaking empty. It was crazy. But they did have soap. And I kind of want to go by there and organize some soap. I just, I'm in the mood to organize soap. So I may do that one day if possible. It will depend on my schedule and a bunch of other things, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll shut up now. That's what I wanted to tell you. They already have Halloween stuff out at least at one Dollar Tree in my area. Because I saw it today. I couldn't believe it. Where's all the back to school stuff? It's just gone. It's just disappeared. That's crazy. Anyway, thank you so much for being here and for watching, and I will see you again soon.